it's not a secret that my favorite PDF editor is UPDF. It has the best user experience out of all the PDF editors that I've tested out there. It's super easy to use. Editing PDFs is a breeze, sharing, using the storage, and now they have AI implemented in it and signing documents. So let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up everyone? UPDF is available on all platforms. You can download it on Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, and now it's even available on cloud. So you can use it online without having to jump into a desktop app or mobile application. Plus they also have UPDF sign. Now currently as of this video, and I hope you watch this video on time because there's a big sale going on since it's Black Friday. So definitely check that out. There's a huge discount right now. So go to the link in the description and see if it's the right fit for you and grab your PDF. Now on this video, I want to show you their OCR feature, their AI feature and their online document AI feature. So let's get started. So let's head on over to my UPDF application and I'm going to upload a document that's actually screenshots. So it's not an editable document. So let me give you an example. Here is a document that I can go ahead and open up. This is totally editable. So I can go in through the edit PDF and I can go ahead and change everything from here. But what I want to do is actually upload a PDF. That's only an image. So I'm going to open a desktop file here. So what I did is I took screenshots and I uploaded it here, right? So I cannot edit this. I'll go to the editing section and this is not for editing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the OCR feature implemented here on UPDF to turn this into actual text that I can actually edit, right? We're going to click on the OCR icon and there's two options available. You can do searchable PDF and image only PDF. So in this case, we want to do a searchable PDF. We want to edit this. We want to talk to it with AI and do a whole lot with it, right? So you have options for the layout. In this case, it's fine how it is. Document language, it's English, but there's available a whole bunch of languages that you can select from. So it's not exclusive to English, right? We can do image resolution automatic. So yes, page range one to three. So if this document has 10 pages, we can just select the ones that we want to use OCR on. In this case, it only has three pages and we're going to do it. So let's perform OCR and let's go ahead and save that here. And it just takes a few seconds for this to read and give me an editable document right now. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, here we go. We just got the result. I am now able to select the text. I am now able to use the editing features here on UPDF. Here we go. If I want to remove something, if I want to add something, I can do everything that I need with UPDF. I can add images, I can add links, I can hover, I can remove, etc. I can crop everything that is possible with UPDF is now available because I use the OCR feature. Now, let me go ahead and remove those changes that I've made. And now I'm able to do several things with this. One is actually translated. So if I want to use this for Spanish instead of English, that is possible. So I'll click on the translation option. So PDF translation, and I'm going to select the language to Spanish. So let's find that here, Espanol. And I'm going to use every single page, one to three, and let's go ahead and translate it with a quickie. Here we go. I just got the translated version. Here's the original version. Here's the translated one, and it's now in Spanish. So it's just as easy as that to translate a PDF with UPDF. Now, what if I want to actually talk to it with AI? Well, that feature has several options available. One, I can go ahead and highlight text here on this PDF, and I have the UPDF AI option here. I can go ahead and summarize what I've highlighted, translate, or explain that specific section. And that's a really great option for explanation, especially when you have these legal documents that are hard to understand. This will really help you out, all right? And the other option is over here on this UPDF icon for AI. I'm gonna click on this. Here we go. And now I have the option to summarize, generate as PDF, and I can do a whole lot of things with this. I'll get started with this. Here we go. It's processing this document. So it's practically reading every single aspect of this document right now. It's short, but if imagine a long document, you have a ton of information that you can really take advantage of, right? So here we go. We just read this and this is a California residential lease agreement that I've uploaded here for testing purposes, right? And I get some options. I can summarize this, for example, and I'll do a summarization. Let's keep it English. Here we go. Let's go and summarize it in English, which I already got one of these, but I want to show you. So here's a summarization of this. We got the, hold on, let's give it a few seconds. Okay, here we go. So you can see here the summarization for just summarize for the property, the terms, the rent, security deposit, etc. It's just everything really condensed. So it's super easy to understand, right? I can translate it here. I can also do a mind map from this. 
So let's do let's do one right now. So we're going to select one of three pages in case you have a super long document and you want to use only a certain section that is possible too. So now it's generating a mind map without having me generating this manually. So imagine writing all of that, even kind of organizing all of this manually would take several hours and this is doing it in a few seconds. It's actually done. Yeah. All right. It's done. We now have a my map available here with UPDF AI. So I have several options available. I can go ahead and regenerate this. I can go ahead and use this. I can download it. I can edit this. You can see here, zoom out in fit page, uh, copy link to share, open in the browser, do the image for download, markdown, MD, PDF, or insert in the homepage or insert in PDF. Several options available. Let's go ahead and insert it into the PDF, right? So here we go. We now have the PDF here. There we go. And I can just move this page down. Maybe I don't want it in the beginning. Okay, so let's bring it down there just for testing purposes. Okay, here we go. Let's go back, All right? And I can also talk with this PDF. So in this case, for example, if I needed to ask a legal question, for example, let's just say, okay, so this is what I'm going to ask it. What legal terms should I consider adding to this California lease agreement? So let's hit enter and let's see what UPDF AI is gonna write for us, all right? So here we go. We are now getting suggestions of what this document should actually have, all right? So here we go. We got the results, suggested legal terms to include. So pets policy, maintenance obligations, utilities, entries, etc. Just things that maybe didn't occur to me, but I should be adding it here. And I can make this more robust by asking AI to give me other suggestions based on things that might need this document. Maybe some legal terms based on the city laws. So maybe give it a little more a more sustained to the actual document. So it's super easy and practical to have the AI feature here implemented on UPDF. So aside from having all these amazing tools that I've made videos in the past for every feature of this one, you now have this AI feature, OCR, and even signable documents. So I really love UPDF, the way that you have a way to use it everywhere, right? Even on the web, all right? So for example, this is UPDF AI on the web. I'm able to view my documents here. I'm able to upload documents and start chatting them with them with AI. For example, I don't know, let's go ahead and select this one, which is the, the same one, but this is not the images that I've screenshot. This is the actual document. And I'm able to actually talk to this PDF with the AI. So I can go ahead and summarize, translate it here. I can summarize pages, translate the page, generate a mind map even here online. So I have all these options available. Let's do this from one eight pages, generate the mind map. So. It's gonna do it for me. So just like you saw on the desktop version, we're able to do this online on the web. So let's just say that you are traveling and you need to grab a computer, your friend's computer, etc. You don't need to go ahead and download the desktop app. You can go ahead and do it from the web, right? So just like you saw on that example, I'm actually able to write here, I'm able to upload images and do a whole lot with it, right? So it's definitely a great option to have. Like you saw, it's available on all the platforms and even online. And later on, I will talk about UPDF sign on another video. Don't forget, there's a Black Friday sale going on right now, so definitely don't miss out on it. I hope you don't watch this video too late, but there's always some sale going on out there, but this one is one of the best. Don't forget to check out UPDF here in the link in the description. And that's a wrap.